Hello, my name is Crimson. Welcome to this video. Uh, right now we're going to be looking at how to install assembly for a Master Chief Collection and some of the common problems that people run into on their first time or when they're trying something new. So I would recommend you use Nexus Mods. And if you're unfamiliar with Nexus Mods, they have what is called the Nexus Mod Manager, which is now called Vortex. And that will automatically update your game as updates become available. Sorry, I said game. I meant mods. Uh, they will update your mods uh, for you. And it also, it, it really reduces the amount of time you spend in the installation process. Um, I highly recommend it, but for this video, I'm just going to use the manual download. And I'm going to do slow download, and it's going to download here. I already have it installed just from messing around. Um, but, let me close out. If I were to use it for the first time, so to speak, this is what I get. Like I said, fairly simple. It used to be a little bit uh, not too complicated, but there were just more steps involved before. Now that's not the case. This is a disclaimer. Don't use this to cheat, guys. Uh, don't be that way. Uh, always be have try to have fun in custom games. Um, I mean, I don't. I'm sure there's there's hacks. Uh, but, you know, don't do that. So anyways, I'm going to be editing the, uh, the Skybox map. I'm trying to think of a name. It's Skyward. And this is the name of that map. So in the Master Chief Collection, um, the how you mod the game is you mod the map. Everything that's needed for the, uh, a particular campaign mission or a multiplayer map is basically put into this container file and it contains everything that's needed for that campaign mission or that multiplayer match to run successfully. So I'm going to open this map. Um, however, if you didn't know what map you wanted to open, you just go to map names and they're all here. It shows you every single map name uh, for all the games that are on the Master Chief Collection except I don't see one here. Uh, and I also, I know 4 is not in yet. But anyways, you can use this to find uh, the map you want to use. Now, uh, most people, it, uh, the Master Chief Collection, it's in your Steam library if you were running it through Steam. Uh, if it's on Windows, it's a little bit different, <clears throat> but I have it on Steam. So I just come to Common, Halo Master Chief Collection. Uh, so when you want to open up a map, you just go to the game. I'm on Halo 2. I'm going to go to Halo 2 Maps, and I believe I selected, oh, that's right. I didn't know which one it was, but see, I knew the name, and I just searched it, uh, Skybox in Halo 2. Uh, sorry, let me go back a little bit here. Skybox, and it comes up, and this is what I wanted. So, that is what we have open. And now, we can start modding on the Master Chief Collection in Halo 2. Now, I've already done a little bit of something here. So, as you can see, I, I have a, <laughs> a nice change to my assault rifle. So, that's basically how you install assembly. Like I said, it's a lot easier. There's fewer steps than before. I uh, shouldn't have any problems getting into it. So now let's take this time and let's look at some of the questions that you guys have. Grizzy 90 I'm looking everywhere for a tutorial on how to modify textures. Uh, this guy at YXbox has done some custom stuff. I can't figure out how he made it. Well, in the old days, you could change shaders pretty easily between vehicles, objects, uh, guns, you know, you couldn't really modify the textures when I was doing it, but it looks like this guy, I looked him up, and uh, he's he's definitely got some cool stuff. This is this is a real deal. Um, I, I couldn't tell you, Krizzy, but I would definitely see if he's got a YouTube channel uh, or some tutorials out there and see what you can come up with. I'd love to see it. Awesome. JLK461, how to modify weapons in campaign. 
Example, I want to mod to reach assault rifle to be more like Halo once, and then use it in Reach's campaign. How do you access campaign maps? So, again, uh, just go to help, map names, and it shows you all the names. Uh, and then you can just search for this name in your Master Chief directory, and, uh, and it should come up, no problem. Let's go back. Uh, I want to make the Reach assault rifle be more like Halo once. So, here, you can export and import tags. So if I want to do that, I can export the Hornet by extracting. And I can select where I want to put it. Um, so Hornet, export. And now it's exported. If I want to import the Hornet, oh boy. It does take a minute here. I forgot about this. Uh, when you do extract a tag, it has to condense all of that space um, across multiple tags. So, any like let's say the Hornet tag requires, you know, a thousand other tags, then it's going to ex extract and export all those other tags too, because it's a, there's a dependency there. Uh, and so here it's saying it it was successful. Then to import a tag on a different map, you just hey import man, and it's good to go. That's all you gotta do. Um, between games, I'm not sure if you can do that. If you can, it's going to save you a lot of time. If you can't, uh, you can still change properties manually in the game and then import that across different campaign missions and stuff like that. Um, I know you can change magazine size, how much ammo you can hold, um, you know, how much ammo you can hold within a magazine and in total. So all that type of stuff. But I'm not sure if you can change fire rate. I think that's going to be hard-coded, maybe. I'm not sure. Let me know if you find stuff in JLK. Metalhead007, could I possibly do this cross-game? Say I wanted to play as a Halo 2 Anniversary Elite and Halo 3. Could I do that? Maybe. Personally, I doubt it. Uh, armor and skins and, and are kind of game-dependent. They require... Uh, what game they were intended for to, you know, appear and, you know, function successfully. Uh, so I don't think so. Sorry. Uh, George Mazur, how do you know how to make dialogue louder? So this is in reference to a video I did uh, where you can disable the annoying huff and puff of the sprinting ability. Um, you can change dialogue or, or which dialogue is used. Um, I don't think you can change volume and assembly except, you know, uh, for your client settings for the game to where you can turn down sound effects or turn up sound effects in this case. Uh, so I, that's, that's all I know on that one. How do I do this in the new version? So he's talking about uh, vehicle motion properties. Um, you can also change. Oh, I also showed you how to swap out uh, child objects, I think, in this one. Um, I, I think it's still the same. Yeah. Uh, you might run into some problems with the newer games. Uh, and what you're, you're going to have to do, uh, if you go into that vehicle tag, you will find at the very bottom the motion property. So say the Warthog is a ground vehicle, you want to find like whatever the Banshee is. It might be plane. It might be jet. It might be... VTOL craft or something like that. Uh, and then you want to copy the address and you want to add an entry. So I've done it for the Warthog here. Uh, so this is for Halo 2. Uh, it's somewhere here. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Uh, human plane. So before it was a human jeep, and if I wanted to enable it, I would just change that count to one and change the address. Uh, obviously, though, uh, I wanted the human plane, so there it is. Same as before. Uh, Sakray, I'm confused. Can everyone do this in multiplayer? Seems super busted. Talking about weapon modifications, yes, everybody can. So you can do group poking. So there's a host, and the host is the host. <laughs> the host is the host. The host is the lobby leader in the game, and he's also the assembly leader outside of the game. You will connect to his or her IP address, 
and uh, then you can make changes and whatever changes are made you will then apply that will then apply across the board to everybody that has assembly connected and is also in the game uh, anybody that doesn't have assembly will not see the changes you don't have to use group poking multiple people with assembly on their own can be in the game and they can make their own changes but only they will see some of the changes some of the changes will be universal um, but most are not uh, you cannot do that in multiplayer uh, in terms of the official multiplayer you have to have anti-cheat disabled uh, I'm sure there's some workarounds but don't do that try to stay cool Pikachu 69420 this guy is ahead of a curve for the Tesla price uh, reduction uh, for their car uh, he's a little genie in a bottle right there never saw that coming excuse me if I don't say this right Aeon, Aeon U Rodriguez I'm just confused because I made a new infection map first time in the Master Chief Collection and every time I spawn no matter what I die instantly this is actually an easy fix so what you're probably doing is you have a safe zone and you have it to where it's a hard kill so that if you're not in the safe zone you die instantly so what you can do is expand the safe zone to include where your spawn point is or you can use kill zones which only kill you if you go into the zone and when we're talking about zones there's hard and there's soft soft gives you a warning it's typically 10 seconds and it says if you're not out of here in 10 seconds you're dying hard it kills you instantly so you just need to swap that around Rodriguez thanks for the question edited by Haz. Would you do a tutorial on weather effects like rain and snow? I've already done one on fog. Fog is a good one because it shows you how the game interprets uh, kind of the atmospheric settings. Um, and how you would do rain is you would find a map that has rain already in it, import uh, those rain tags or what's required for that rain effect to run, and then you would have your map with rain from another map. Uh, if you wanted to do snow you would probably have to edit the rain effects first and then make the rain or rather make the snow make the rain look like the snow uh, I know Rejected Shotgun has done that and a couple other people back from the old days uh, I would look up their videos has and uh, see what they got Hetro and Rango can I change the damage, health and shields of every NPC on campaign uh, as far as NPCs go I know you can spawn them. I know you can change the frequency in Firefly. I don't know if you can change your damage, health, and shields. Um, where I would look is the biped tag. And even then, I'm not too sure. You might have to check out the global tag, too. Um, but if you find something, let me know. Desert Fox 599 Are you going to be uploading more often? I hope so. I've got some, some stuff I'm thinking about doing I think you guys might like. Uh, obviously, if you're a, a, a subscriber, you like Halo, and you like modding Halo. Um, and chances are, if you like modding Halo, then you probably like other tech things, too. And so what I'm thinking is showing you some, maybe some IT stuff. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Kind of like a home lab, or uh, maybe something along those lines. We'll see. Hope so. Project Obscurum. Can the shaders be edited? As we talked about previously, um, you can easily swap out shaders. It looks like somebody is changing textures. I'd say there's probably more to come on this front. Valerie Gray, you're a lifesaver. I've been using this series to go from not even knowing how to apply a patch file to making my own mod emissions. Seriously can't thank you enough. Ah, thank you, Valerie. My pleasure. World of Song. I'm still looking how to spawn NPC with AI. I can use it by shooting uh, Magnum. <laughs> uh, oh, that's good. Ah, yeah. So right here, you can. What this guy's saying, Halo Victor. You have to change the crate projectile property, and yeah. I would, I would say this guy's uh, he's got it he's got it down. Uh, Crimson. This is also going to be my last one, and it's from Sean. Me and a buddy are trying to make a cursed Halo Reach. How do I flip a weapon so the player is holding it the wrong way? For instance, the rocket launcher points behind the player. Uh, so you could probably do this in projectile properties too. 
to where the projectiles go backwards instead of forwards. Uh, if you're familiar with the quarter neon coordinate system, uh, Halo uses that in some instances. I believe this would be one if you can do it. Um, it's going to be hard. It's going to take a long time to get everything ironed out. But I think you could you could try it out. And I think you might get something workable. Um, but my question is, if you're going to go to, to all the effort for that, why not just make it to where it shoots out cargo containers or trucks or kill balls? Come on, man. Anyways, uh, I love the creativity you guys have. I love the interest uh, that's here in the community. And uh, I hope there is more growth. I certainly do. Anyways, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please proliferate the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, and I might, I might, I might do that. So, have a good one, guys. And stay safe in the COVID world of 2020.